Hi everybody, welcome to another World Wardo video. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I've got a very special video, uh, it's something that I've never done before, but I've got one of, if not the best player in the game, McHulge. We did a best of three, and today it was some. Uh, I'm going to show you the matches. We just did some kind of fun decks, uh, <laughs> just to sort of try and even the playing field a little bit for me. Uh, but yeah, I shall see you in the game. Uh, as you can see uh, in Discord there, McCall just just messaging, just we had a lot of fun making this, it was great. Unfortunately, the technical difficulties, I couldn't come on and chat, which mm -hmm. would I, I would have loved to do, you know, but um, yeah, but for today, I'm just going to show you the replays, uh, which were, were great fun. Um, so I'm just going to jump into the, the battle log here, guys. Uh, now, in my opinion, um, as I say, McCall just one of the best, if not the best players in the game. Um, and the first one we did was uh, cheap decks. So as you can see, this was the deck that we were all running here. So i uh, just got to go into it here and I'll talk you through it. I, I just love watching this guy play. He, when we were speaking, uh, he says he likes to play fast and aggressive and dominate uh, the, the march, which, is, which he certainly does every time he plays me. Um, and he, he uses his commander quite a lot as well. I shall see in the replays. Even though this is quite fun decks, I played him with his normal deck as well. <laughs> and uh, as you can imagine, that's only went one way. Uh, so yeah, he, he uses Yetlins a lot. And as you can see, he's always got the commander out in the middle there, so it's sort of ready to move. And um, I just plays a disco ray in that. Uh, it, it really brings home, I think, I'm above average player. I don't think I'm a great player at all but uh, it really just shows the golf in class whenever that like some colleges using uh, different decks and still able to dominate you know um, so I'll actually try here to get a shutdown win with major fire and I, I almost do okay but uh, as you can see he's just got a slither of health there and I really thought I had him here on the try rear entry but he's so good look at that he always seems to be the right card at the right time and he just teleports out of the way and then that chop chop just absolutely annihilates me uh, and he's got Sire Bomb as well and he shut, shuts down, I'll try a shut down there but I mess it up I'm getting a bit desperate but my uh, snow trap catches chop chop he also likes to go for the enemy barrel as well uh, so I put a portal there and he's gave me that so I can't collect my dough uh, my do barrel and then he almost, I was very lucky there, I thought I was going to catch the witch. Um, and then he comes in with another chop chop, as you can see, always keeping the pressure on. But Major Fire managed to take that out, I just heal up in time. Uh, I give not a bad account of myself in this, this game, but uh, I certainly am in nowhere near this guy's league. And I think as well, when you're looking at that guys, it's, it's important to remember and I catch the witch there, so that was not great. But as I was saying, it's important to remember that the more you play, the higher you will gain in trophies. So McCulge admits that he doesn't play as much as the others at the top, you know, so... Um, and he just takes me out there. Um, yeah. So that was the first match. So I'll go into the next match and show you. How it went. So the next match was he said he was going to play a Cybok deck against me, which was basically rubbing salt into the winds, you know, it's my favourite card and I think I'm pretty good with it. Uh, but as you can see in the next match, what I'm just about to show you, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually do that well either. So I'm going to battle log. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying, uh, by the time this comes out guys, uh, it'll be the new season, so I hope you're enjoying the new season as well. So as you can see, this was the deck he was running, he's got Shutdown, Cybok, Teleport, Overclock, um, he loves using that Caveman as well, which is a, a great card, I wish I had it higher leveled. Uh, I'll try a Cybok deck with Cyber Bomb, uh, and I'll just show you how this one went, uh, you've probably seen by the, <laughs> the result how it went. Uh, but yeah, I just really want to show you his gameplay because I think the guy is absolutely fantastic. I just wish I, I could have him on the channel, you know, actually speaking, uh, but there is some kind of sort of translation difficulties there, which I get, but um, we have been chatting to quite an extent over Discord, and um he, he is really a cool guy and and the thing i like him he's a humble guy as well you know i think that's important he's a he's a good winner um and he's very very helpful in giving out tips as well so i try my major fire just at the back there and he comes in with a cybok on his cybok um so i do, gives my power move and is able to seal tower but again he just teleports out of the way 
Uh, so I just activate that mine there and I try and go in, but again, he just uses the same part of teleport to push me back. He do, I think he does use uh, teleport and portal in his deck, and he also says Napalm is a very underrated card, guys. Another card that I wish I had higher leveled. Um, so yeah, I try Major Fire there. It's a very good card, Major Fire, whenever the commander's coming in, rushing the tower. And I'm trying to say your bomb here, but as you can see, it just gets out of the way so quick, and that's just wasted, basically. Um, so I give him that. He gets out of the way. He's far too good for to be hitting his towers or anything like that. And the caveman, as you can see, that thing is a tank for two, though. It's a very good card, so I try to shut down again. I think I play Cybok here to try and catch him out, but... Um, as you can see, the Yetlins, despite them getting a slight nerf this season, I think they're still very strong. And McCall is an advocate for that. Um, so I've got my... He's got my tower. I've got his health quite low, but... I try and go in there, but he pushes me away so fast. His reaction time's just... Amazing. And I think this is uh, it's a prime example. The guy can actually play any deck, you know. He's, he's so good. Um, but... So I try and get my door there, which probably is just a waste of time. He's just going to... Uh, try and take me out. So you uh, give him some dynamite there. It shuts down my heal tower, and this is basically going to be game over very soon uh, because I've still got 32 settings and I shut down in that. So I'm just sort of I'm going to play a cyborg at the left hand side, I think. Yeah, just to try and pressure him a little, but it doesn't really do much. You know what? Shut down his heal tower. Uh, he rages up. I misplaced the dome. Try and push him back a little. And he's coming in with a cybok just to finish off. I think I play Major Fire, yeah, just to take the charge of the cybok, which is good. One good thing about playing cybok, I know most of the counters to it, that's because <laughs> I come up against them quite a lot. So I try and with Sire Bomb here. And he just, look at that, just the teleport there. And I hit my own tower. And uh, Napalm again, he, he's always got the right card in the right situation. Yeah, Yetlin's coming in, they just force pressure, constant pressure. Uh, and we're down to 8 seconds and I'm just not getting anywhere. Um, I don't think I get my commander killed, but I almost do, you know. So, good game. So the last one we're going to show you, I'll just jump into it. Uh, which was 4 and over. Take a bit of time to load there, guys. So we're just going to go into the final battle. So this was the last one here. So this was cards that cost four do and over. And this is admittedly out of McCulloch's comfort zone. Uh, he likes to play fast, aggressive decks, uh, which he did admit to me in Discord. He likes the fast, aggressive game more so than these these type of games. And it, this was just purely for fun, these games, guys. It was, uh, I just really wanted to showcase them in the channel in some way. So, we'll start off with exchanging pleasantries. Um, and I'll start off with a fish tank at the back. And he's got a Dr. Death. No, sorry. <laughs> um, Hotbot, sorry. He has got Dr. Death as well, but it has, that was Hotbot he played there. Yeah, that thing's got a lot of health. A lot of health. Uh, so because he's run Doctor Death that side, I put my prey on his other side. And he rages up to get rid of them. Doctor Death's a great counter to fish tank as well, because it leaves the poison trail, and I have it in my deck too, so I run it try to run it the other side. Uh stick out the chopper. I think I've got cheerleaders in my deck as well, which is quite good. It's sort of a passive play and it, it builds up over time. Um, and then I've got Mr. Boom there. I think he comes in to try and take everything out, yeah. And Napalms as well. And my Mr. Boom will think will die to the poison trail there. Just a wee bit of lag there, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I put this, my piranhas come in here. But the peat sort of 
takes out the bulk of the damage. And the piranhas are also building up for the fish tank. And he's got a heal bot now. Uh, and look at Pete just soaking up that pressure. So I want to take that heal bot out. To get rid of more out Pete. And then I place side buckets. Actually I'm immune to poison so it kills the no right peat. And I'll get out of there. I think I restock the material leaders at the back here. And I've got a cyborg still alive, so it goes out in the commander. His, his reaction time's awesome, he just troop traps that. And I'll play a Mr. Boom at the opposite side, hoping that his range is big enough, but it's not. Not a card I'm used to playing. And I'm sure these are cards that McCulloch isn't used to playing either, you know. So I rage up to take the up out. And then I play my bunch of piranhas um, here. And to get onto the tower, he gets his no right peat down, but thankfully my cyborg hits him straight away, so takes him out. So I got a bit lucky there. Um, I put bees in as well and take out his cyborg that he dropped. Uh, and he's got the heal bot, so I've got to be careful. I try and take that out as soon as possible, uh, which I managed to do. And cyborg gets in there, and then Mr. Boom. And it gets very close here, but. Um, he just, he just managed to heal up, but I've just got enough time just to sort of see this out, hopefully. Uh, well, that's what I was thinking at the time, and I've got my heal there, so with four seconds remaining, uh, I should be alright. And I managed to get a win. So, I, I hope you enjoyed the games there, guys, and I appreciate McCulloch taking time out of his day to play me. Uh, if you're not following him, in, following him in game, then I suggest you do so, because he is right at the top, and his games are absolutely amazing. So anyway guys, thanks very much, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, take care.